to enhance health care delivery and ensure the security of medical supplies, the government of Kenya is improving the overall supply chain, starting with capacity upgrades and the establishment of Kenya Medical Supplies Agency regional distribution centers in Kisumu, Mbakasi, and Mombasa. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kiswahili saying, Mgaga na upwa hali wali mkavu, is an understated hint of the promise held by our blue economy. Because of the Indian Ocean, Kwale County and coastal region as a whole are bound with transformative opportunities of an immense magnitude. At present, the blue economy contributes 20 billion to the economy annually and is expected to increase to over 80 billion in five years. This transformation will create thousands of jobs and stimulate regional economy through increased investment in various industries, enhanced export, man, uh, enhanced export manufacturing, and expanded overall economic activity. To begin with, we are investing Kenya shillings 2.7 billion in the construction of fish landing sites and markets equipped with cold storage facilities across the country with 1.2 billion allocated specifically to the coast region. Additionally, we are releasing 1.7 billion in grants to support 612 fishing cooperatives and groups in the region. I must commend the Ministry of Mining and Blue Economy for an excellent job that they are undertaking. The Shimoni port, Kenya's first dedicated fish port, is now 82% complete. I came to start that project months ago. I am very happy with the progress that is made. Once finished, it will boost the fishing industry by increasing the handling capacity by 50,000 metric tons of fish annually, thereby promoting value addition for both domestic and export market. To promote and enhance aquaculture and mariculture in the country, the government is investing 2.4 billion, including 1.4 billion allocated specifically for the coast region in the development of the National Mariculture Resource and Training Center in Shimoni, here in Kwale County. This center will serve as a catalyst for the growth of productive and profitable mariculture. It will function as a marine fish seed breeding and multiplication center, facilitate research and innovation in mariculture, and offer training for fish farmers and students. To increase fish production and facilitate the transition of fisher folk to deep water and exclusive economic zone fishing, the government has procured and distributed 123 fishing boats to local communities. And additionally, we plan to acquire deep sea fishing vessels for offshore fishing with a total budget of Kenya shilling 600 million allocated for this purpose this year. Ladies and gentlemen, the affordable housing program, healthcare reforms, and blue economy investments go beyond infrastructure. They embody our commitment to dignity, opportunity, and prosperity for many Kenyans. We invite the private sector to join us and drive up the scale of these initiatives to provide opportunities for more Kenyans to take part in achieving lasting transformation. Together, we are building a brighter future where every Kenyan has the opportunity to thrive and winning the freedom struggle of our time. Let us remember the example of our first Mashuja and be inspired by their values, achievements, and legacy. Let us do our part to promote national cohesion and inclusion and to combat division, tribalism, and exclusion. Let us remember that without unity, our freedom and our future would be under threat. Together, we are unstoppable in pursuit of our aspirations 
and immovable in the face of any challenge. By embodying, championing, and defending our national values and principles of governance every day, we will be able to live up to the monumental legacy of Mekatilili Wamenza and other heroic men and women who blazed the trail for the patriots who followed and built a nation that present and future generations will be proud of. I am encouraged by the bravery, diligence, and loyalty with which Kenyans of all walks of life undertake their profession and social tasks, fighting crime and terrorism, defending the nation's territorial integrity, treating the sick, feeding the nation, teaching our children, and serving the needs of underprivileged citizens. To you all, I convey the gratitude and appreciation of all Kenyans. It is in these things that heroism lies. The fact that we must do them every day doesn't make them any less heroic or extraordinary. Ushuja is doing ordinary things in extraordinary ways. Therefore, whatever our vocation, let us apply ourselves with zeal because that is how great nations are built. Ladies and gentlemen, watu wa kwale, ndugu zangu, watu wa Kenya. Nimefurai sana kuwa kati yenu katika sherehe hii ya muhimu. Sote tukiungana na tukihakikisha kwamba kazi ya kila mtu isidharauliwe na mwingine. Wale wote mnaochangia katika sehemu zote yule unayesukuma pale wilbaro ili tuweze kujenga affordable housing yule unayepiga randa ndio tuweze kuwa na milango na madirisha na mambo mengine ambayo yatatusaidia kuwa na manyumba ya sawasawa walimu pale shuleni mnapojitolea kufundisha watoto wetu wakulima shambani wanaofanya bidii ndio tupate chakula askari wetu ambao wanasimamia usalama wa taifa letu la Kenya wafanyabiashara wetu ambao wanafanya bidii wakiamuka mapema nyinyi wote ni mashujaa wa taifa letu la Kenya kwa zile machukumu mnayofanya nataka niwaeleze ndugu zangu wa Kenya ya kwamba nchi hii tutaijenga na mikono yetu na nguvu yetu na bidii yetu kwa sababu nchi hii haiwezi kujengwa na wageni haiwezi kujengwa na wengine sisi hii ndio nchi Mungu ametupatia na ni jukumu la kila mmoja wetu mahali popote ulipo ute uotoe mchango wako kwa uzalendo kwa kujitolea kwa bidii na mimi nataka niwahakikishia kwamba tutafaulu kama nchi ya Kenya tukifanya hivyo tukiwa tumeungana pamoja mwisho kabisa nikiwa hapa pwani tumekuwa na jambo ama donda sugu la mambo ya ardhi nataka niwatangazie ya kwamba tayari tuko na pesa shilingi bilioni moja na nusu ya kuanza ile program ya absentee landlords na kusaidia wananchi ambao wanaishi katika mashamba ambayo sio yao tuweze kuwasaidia wawache kuwa maskota wawe wenyeji kwa sababu tutaungana na wale ambao mashamba haya ni yao tuweze kununua ndio tuweze kusonga mbele pamoja na mimi nataka niulize magavana wetu pamoja na wabunge na wale wengine wote tuungane katika safari hiyo ndio tuweze kukomboa watu wetu kutoka mambo ya uskota. Asanteni sana watu wa kwale, asanteni sana ndugu wa Kenya. Thank you very much. God bless you all and God bless our great country that we love, Kenya. Asanteni sana. Na Mungu awabariki. Naomba kwa heshima sote tusimame kwa wimbo wa taifa.
kwa heshima sote tusimame kwa wimbo wa taifa